conference, winter conference, we got this going on. That's how it works. You reach out to the people you've uh, connected to, those that you love. It's not just my job anymore. I'm passing. Listen, we got to be beyond repentance, okay? I'm not spoon feeding you no more. You, you, you got to be on the milk. You got to get beyond the bottle. It's time for you to pick up the mantle. It's time for, I'm not doing it for you all the time anymore. That's not my job. My job is to teach you. I've done that. I've done my job. Now it's your turn. It's your job. You pick up the phone. I call my people. That's my job. You call your people. You start keeping track of who you're witnessing. That's your job. If I do it anymore, I'll be enabling you, and that's unhealthy. Wow, what a service. Wow, what, are we having fun? Are we learning anything? We got to get beyond repentance, church. Let's stand. We're going to do an altar call because that's why I ended at 3.30 so I can make sure we do an altar call. I got five minutes left. I'm, I quit before my time, brother. Not one, no hour. 25 minutes. It's all I needed. Get the message across. But now what we need is an altar call. Now, I'm going to explain to you. We started with Jesus. And let me just, I didn't get too far off track. I, I had a point. We started with Jesus and what happened to him being left in Jerusalem. Next week we're going to pick up from there. And let me tell you where we're going to go. What happened was is he got left behind because he was back teaching in Jerusalem. How old was Jesus at the time? Approximately. Twelve years old. If you're older than twelve, stand up. If you're older than 12, stand up. And I know, I, I'm, yes, I'm looking at, go ahead, girl, stand up. You too, son, don't just hit her. You're older than 12. You older than 12? Stand up. <laughs> I love Richard. He's like, okay, man, I'll do it. Uh, 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 young man, how old, how old is he? 11? Stand up, child. 12 and older, okay? Well, I'll, I'll change that. All these people, 12 and over, all these little people, they're excused. They got a few more years. All y'all have no excuse. And that's where we're starting next week with the idea of when did Jesus start? Started at 12. We're going to go further in the understanding of, of going beyond repentance and getting ready to teach. Uh, what we got to do is we've got to turn from what we're doing, which is our repentance. We're turning. Now it's time to teach. We got to go to the next level. You got to take the, If I teach you anything, that day you can start teaching to somebody else. There are things that I learned from other preachers. I preach to the next time I get a chance because I've now acquired that piece of knowledge. If you learn anything about repentance, you can teach it. You learn anything about baptism, you can teach it. The main reason why people don't is out of fear. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I bind all fear and doubt that I am unable to reach out to the lost, that I'm unable to teach a Bible study, that I'm unable to read the Word and get some guidance. Around. I bind that doubt and fear right now in the name of Jesus, and I put out courage. I put out courage and fire and power to everybody in the sound of my voice that I can look in the Word. I can teach something. I can show someone else the Word of God. These altars are open for you to come down here and pray for courage to receive that prayer of rebuking doubt and fear you have that ability to do that right now you come to this place and you receive it you step before the lord and say god i'm going to move forward i'm going to move beyond repentance in my day right now god you are able to take me to the next level god i gotta move beyond repentance I gotta prepare to teach. I've gotta turn and teach. Those should be the mantras of my life is to turn from my old ways, become converted, and go teach what I have learned. Therefore, I've got to develop mastery. I've got to develop mastery in what I'm studying and what I'm hearing that I might be able to pass it on. I've got to have this doctrine and this gospel spread like a virus. It's got to spread. I've got to be in contact with people so that can carry the message. I need to become a carrier of this gospel. It's got to spread. There needs to be an outbreak. There needs to be an epidemic of God's will in the lives of the people in our city. There
There needs to be an epidemic of repentance. Uh, repentance needs to be an epidemic so we can start the people on the right path to go beyond repentance into salvation and on to spreading God's word.
refuse me.